Hi everyone! Today, I thought that I'd film the last day of Ramadan and um, we've got some friends coming over um, for the first time, a couple coming over for the first time and we're making a barbecue. So I thought I would just bring you along and show you guys what I'm making, what the plan is for today and what it looks like to have a home-cooked meal in Ramadan because I haven't been able to do that. I showed you guys what it's like being invited out and when we're out. Um, but yeah, so today we're planning to do a barbecue. So I woke up at 6.30 this morning. Um, Daniel woke me up at 6.30 and I slept late last night so I'm feeling so, oh, I'm feeling kind of defeated today. I'm feeling so sleepy. Um, I'm also almost 34 weeks pregnant so I am feeling tired. My body is hurting. Anyway, I'll show you guys what I made. I already started, like, I start prepping from like early morning because by the end of the afternoon, I am gone, like thrashed. My legs start to give in. Um, so I'll show you guys what I've already prepared. Pumpkin soup here. And I've already boiled the chickpeas for the fate. I'll show you guys what that is at the end. And then we've got our marinated meat here that we need to skew up skewer up and then we've already got our homemade hummus already and that's ready in the fridge so all we need to do when um, time is near when the barbecue is all done we'll just lay that out in the plate and the kifta has already been skewed up so that's perfect for me <laughs> the only thing i need to do still is the fatush which is like the salad anything else I don't think so, I think that's all. So I'm going pretty well. So as soon as I skewer this meat, I am gonna start cleaning the house. Um, the house is mostly clean. I've been giving it pretty maintained throughout the week, but I'm just gonna do a quick clean up of the bathroom, um, fix our bed, do some dusting in our, in our room, and tidy up Daniel's room. I just like the house just needs a tidy up. So we'll get to that. Daniel was currently sleeping for his first nap, which is great. So that's why I want to try and get the meat out of the way because I can't chase him around with dirty hands. And then I'm going to try and do the dishes, put the dishes into the dishwasher because if Daniel's awake, the, dish, the dishwasher gets completely attacked by him. <laughs> and he plays with all the dirty water and it's just exhausting. I always try to keep it real with you guys. This is what my house looks like right now. There's toys everywhere, the pillows are all stuffed up and it's just not tidy at the moment. <laughs> so I'm going to get to that after I finish the food. So I try my best, when Daniel's sleeping, I try my best to do all the tasks that I need to do in the house that he usually involves himself in or tries to really make my life harder. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to do the meat before he sleeps. I'm trying to do the dishwasher and I've also got a load of washing on. So as soon as, most of us cutting the grass outside right now, as soon as he's done, I'm gonna go out and hang that washing. Um, and then I'll be like, so relaxed then because I know that Daniel's not going to try and go outside while I'm doing the washing. I know I don't have to take him outside in the wet, on the wet grass. Um, and I know I don't need to chase him around with dirty meat fingers. <laughs> and I know he's not going to be playing with the dirty water while I'm doing the dishwasher. So let's get into skewing this meat.
Daniel's awake from his nap. Boba's inside from mowing the lawn. And, and cleaning up wash the car. our landscaping. Yes. He's about to wash the car. Oh, We're going to feed Daniel lunch. And then get back into we'll getting this home ready we'll and nice and neat. I haven't mentioned this on my YouTube channel yet, but I have come out with a new baby brand that includes feeding, silicon feeding accessories. And this is one of our bibs. Denny, do you want to show them our bib? Show them our bib. Show them. It's a catcher bib. We've got this color, the olive color. Our business name is Little Teddies. It's cute, right? Our website in the description below but basically I'm gonna do a designated kind of video on on the business and like what we offer and the different products that we have we also have this color the dusty blue color I can't get my finger on it there it is <laughs> I use these catcher bibs for everything literally every single meal I have one in my baby bag I take it everywhere with me it's super flexible um, and it catches everything Super, super easy to clean as well. There's no stains, no nothing. I will link it below if you guys want to check it out. Um, it would be amazing if you could support me. <laughs> we'll be doing, like I said, I will be doing a designated video of just showing you guys all the products that we have to offer. We have suction plates, we have um, sip and snack cups, and we also have dummy clips. So they're all very pretty. We've got rose pink, dusty blue, olive, an olive color in the catcher bib. And also we've got the rose pink sets and dusty blue sets, which includes the suction plates, bib, cup, and yeah. And then we've also got a gray dummy clip and a marble white dummy clip. They're all really, really pretty. So take a look. Yeah, so this is what it caught in the bib. I'll show you guys how easy it is to clean. So you could either rinse it or you can literally wipe it up with a wipe. When I'm out, I wipe it up with a wipe. And that's it. Got to show you guys, but basically I already hung up the washing. I changed my clothes so I can feel a little bit more fresh and I guess on more on the go. Um, but yeah, hung up the washing. Gonna clean up Daniel and the high chair and then I'm gonna go into my room, tidy that up and I'm just gonna tidy up all the rooms. Then Daniel will just continue to play and then I'll give him a bottle after about half an hour, 40 minutes. So I have tidied all the, room, all the rooms, vacuumed, and now most of us just gone to the shops to grab a couple things and I need to quickly book shipping for Monday so that all my customers can get their orders dispatched by Monday. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, so I'm just going to take a quiet break doing that and sit down for just 10 minutes. And then I'll get back up and I just need to mop the bathroom and I need to get ready. Oh, I also need to cut up the fatouche. Yes, I need to do that. So I'll see you when I'm cutting up the fatouche.
I just got changed, brushed my hair and put a little bit of makeup on. Um, so if that time is probably around then in the next 30 minutes, um, in the next 30 minutes. So what I do is I'm just going to reheat the soup, reheat the chickpeas, um, put the sauce all over the fatouche, um, and then spread out the hummus in like a nice plate and platter, change the fatouche as well into a nice bowl. And then that'll be it. And then we'll eat. Mustafa's out there preparing the barbecue. So when the dining table's set with all the food, I will show you guys what we ended up with. I'm just going to end the vlog here because... <laughs> because Mama's tired. And after iftar, we're just going to chill with our friends, right? So we'll end the vlog here. And then after this, I'll put the snippet of... Hey. Of the food all right say bye 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 i love you bye guys thank you for watching our video mm.